friends welcome back to our channel where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great thank you guys so much for tuning in watching another video if you are new to my channel hey welcome my name is christina nice to meet you thank you for tuning in to my amazing supporters thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support i appreciate every single one of y'all so today is wednesday november 9th it's currently 3 51 p.m this video is not going to be that long um because i don't got a lot of time right now unless i finish up when i get back home but um i'm doing a get ready with me as y'all can see i'm almost ready <laughs> but um in this video it was so difficult to like choose a topic to talk about but i decided i wanted to talk about being patient like i feel like it's um it's like an attribute that we all struggle with as human beings and i just feel like it can go a long way hold on yeah i just feel like it could go such a long way by being patient so um i'm gonna touch on being patient like with different things like um I don't know I'm not a parent but I think I could start there so sometimes like let's say you are a parent and you continue to tell your kids the same thing over and over again I know it might be hard but eventually they'll get it that's how I look at it right um same thing with like finding the right person to be with like sometimes it's going to oh, Sometimes it's gonna take time, but I feel like if you just continue to be patient and continue looking for the right person, you will eventually find them. And I feel like that also applies with a lot of other things in our lives. Like, you're not always gonna find what you're looking for overnight. And I think that's where patient comes in. And it kind of sucks sometimes because it's just like, you know, you feel like you want what you want when you want it. If you're like me, like I used to have, um, I wouldn't say like I'm a hundred percent like where I want to be as far as patience is concerned, but I feel like I've gotten a little bit better, like better to where I could talk about it. So I just say like, the biggest thing like with patience is just understanding that what you want will happen at the right time it will come at the right time like if you don't have something if you don't have what you want or if things aren't how you want them to be sometimes it's just not the right time and the hardest part about that is like you don't understand why it's not the right time like you might feel like you're ready you might feel like you know it's the right time but it's not the right time and you just have to give everything time like to work out how you want it to work out um for example like sometimes like you let's say you want to be successful in a certain area of your life or if you want to find the right person like maybe if you get that success too soon or if you get the, that person too soon you can end up losing them because you're not ready for whatever it is that you want want so badly you get what i'm trying to say so that's my piece on like being patient it's just understanding like timing is everything if you don't have something you're probably not ready for it and the beautiful thing is like i feel like all of us could look back on something in our lives and say like dang I wanted this so bad at this time but thank God I didn't get it thank God I didn't have it at the time that I wanted it to because it just wasn't the right time for whatever reason sometimes you're not a hundred percent sure the reason why later on you might find out the reason why like just like for example like if a job like if something don't work out with the job right later on you're like oh okay good like you know good thing things didn't work out with that job and sometimes too if you don't get what you think you really really want 
I say there's always better out there. Like it's because there's better out there or you're just being prepared for it. Like I have this quote in my phone that says, a day delayed is a day better prepared. And I feel like that's so true. Like some things are delayed so that you can be better prepared for when they come. So that is my piece on being patient. I'm pretty much done getting dressed. I'm pretty much done talking. Um, if I think of like anything else, like maybe uh, a story time or whatnot, I'm gonna stick it in here. But for now, this is pretty much it. Um, I put on like my jewelry and stuff like that. I'm gonna show y'all some of my fit. I'm not done fully getting dressed, but I got this super bright yellow dress on, these black boots, and then I got this black sweater I'm gonna wear with it. And then because this dress has like this little gold chain thingy attached to it, I decided to wear gold accessories and these cute little earrings and yeah i just slicked my hair back like this i'm not doing no makeup whatsoever today like i'm just not in for makeup today i feel like my face is pretty bright pretty cute i don't really need no makeup today um so yeah stay patient and i will see y'all in the next part of the video hey friends so i am officially back home and i just wanted to wrap this video up um i didn't think of anything else to add to this video but moral of the video is be patient for whatever it is that you want if it's taking longer than you expect that's okay um i just feel like you should hang in there stay encouraged stay motivated doesn't matter how long something takes for you to accomplish whatever you want um only a scenario i could think of with this um that's like a good story time if i may say is my citizenship i think i'm about to sit right here because i do not feel like holding this camera so the only um, story time I could think of concerning this is my citizenship and that took me 20 years to get it. Sometimes I felt like I wasn't going to get it. Sometimes I felt like I'm so close to getting it and then something will happen and then I won't end up getting it and then finally I got it. But it's like no matter how long it took, I still got it and like I said, sometimes if you don't get something like right when you want it it just means you're not ready to have it there's something else that needs to happen before you get it maybe you have to grow as a person maybe your circumstances just need to shift a little bit more I don't really know but that's my encouragement to whoever is watching this video stay patient and don't let the waiting process wear you out I feel like sometimes you waiting for something to happen it can wear you out and make you feel like you know what I don't want to be bothered anymore I give up I don't want to pursue this um thing anymore i don't want to aspire for this goal or whatever anymore but don't let the waiting process discourage you like i have things in my life that i'm waiting for like to happen and i literally cannot wait for them to happen like i'm not going to say what all of them are but there are just those things i have goals that i want to reach for sure i have dreams that i want to achieve for sure and they haven't happened yet and i just say while i'm waiting for it to happen because sometimes i feel like that's another thing too like we don't know what to do while we're waiting and i just say while you're waiting for certain things to happen just keep working on yourself um just distract yourself with certain things like sometimes for example um if me and my husband is supposed to go somewhere right sometimes i get dressed beforehand him and he just takes forever and I used to get mad I used to get annoyed I used to be like dang like I don't feel like waiting for you I don't have time to like why I always gotta wait on you but now baby I don't get mad anymore like I don't nag him anymore like what I do I just find my own things to do like I just fill that gap and then before you know it he actually ends up waiting on me like I'll probably respond to emails or text or just like jump on social media or just find a way to distract myself like do something that's engaging that will keep my mind on keep my mind from being irritated about him not being ready me having to wait for him you know what i'm trying to say so i feel like whatever goal whatever aspiration you have um just find a way to keep yourself busy like one of my ways of keeping myself busy keeping myself occupied until like you know my goals and my dreams come true in certain areas because i feel like some of my dreams and my goals like have come true in certain areas of my life but there's other areas of my life where it's like dang 
thing like you know it's a process it's taking a little bit longer and that's totally fine so what i'm doing in that area of my life is i'm continuously just working on myself like for example i read books like that's a new thing for me over the past year and a half like i've read more books in my entire life than i have ever read before <laughs> you know what i'm saying because it's just like there's things that i want to happen but i say they haven't happened yet because i'm not the person that i need to become for them to happen so let me work on becoming that person that i need to be to attract those things in my life so whatever it is that you're waiting for work on yourself you know what i'm saying for example if you want like one of my really really good friends um she just became a registered nurse shout outs to her and she could have spent her whole life saying i want to be a registered nurse but in order to be a registered nurse she had to go to school um not just go to school but after you go to school you have to take an exam after you take an exam then you could apply for a job you get what i'm trying to say it's a process to everything that you want you know what i'm saying to everything that you want to become so while you're waiting for that to happen work on yourself take the necessary steps that you can take sometimes like you know there are certain steps like you can't skip steps you can't just jump to like she couldn't just go apply for a job as a registered nurse like she doesn't have a certification she didn't go to school you know what i'm saying so whatever it is in your life like prepare yourself for that you know get yourself in order get yourself organized and just work with yourself to become that person that you need to be in order to attract whatever it is that you want to attract so that is what i wanted to tell y'all in this video stay patient stay motivated don't let wearing weight don't let waiting wear you out like keep going keep keep yourself motivated remind yourself why you want what you want remind yourself why like the difference you getting what you want would make in your life and just keep your eyes on the prize so that is all i have for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video i appreciate y'all thank y'all so so much for watching it watching comment below um i don't know comment below something like y'all y'all gotta do better with talking to me like you know y'all gotta do better with talking to me in the comments sometimes i don't know like what videos y'all want like sometimes being creative can be really hard it just can so sometimes i wish like y'all would just talk to me in the comments and be like hey like can you do this kind of video hey can you share this or can you open up about this and i can consider you know like don't leave me to the wolves y'all like we friends like y'all gotta talk to me y'all gotta let me know like what kind of content y'all want to see like y'all gotta let me know so that's all i have for y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in i appreciate every single one of y'all to my amazing supporters i appreciate y'all y'all keep me motivated y'all keep me going and i just appreciate y'all so much so that's all i got for y'all i'ma see y'all in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great